Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have negative 3 to the power of t and this equals 3. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation and we are going to make use of two different methods. So let's start with the first method. Now in this first method, I'm going to copy out this negative 3. I have negative 3 and this equals negative 1 times 3. So I will then replace this negative 3 here with negative 1 times 3. So I have negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of t. And this equals 3. Now, let's consider this complex identity. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals i. That is the imaginary number i. So, if I take the squares, of this, this eliminate this, so I have negative 1 equals i power 2. So that means I'm going to replace this negative 1 with i power 2. So I simply have i power 2 times 3 raised to the power of t, and this equals 3. Now the next step will be for me to make use of log. I take the log of i power 2 times 3 raised to the power of t and equals, I take log 3 as well. Now remember, if I have log a to the power of b, this equals b log a. So I apply this property right here the t will come behind this log. So have t log i power 2 times 3 equals log 3. Now also, if you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. I apply this property right here. So I'm simply going to have this is t times log our a is, in fact, let me put it in bracket. Let me have it as log i power 2 plus log 3. Because this is like our a, this is our b. So it's log a plus log b. So I make use of this. And this equals log 3. So right now, I can isolate t by dividing this by the same thing, log i power 2 plus log 3, I divide this by i power 2 plus log 3. So what happens here is that this eliminate this. I'm simply going to have t equals log 3 divided by log i power 2 plus log 3. Now remember, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So I apply this property right here. That means I'm simply going to have t equals log 3 divided by these two will come behind the lock. This is 2 log i plus log 3. So that is it for the first method. Now let's consider the second method of solving this particular problem again. So I still have my negative 3 power t 
equals 3. So in this second method, I'm still going to replace this with the same thing here. I have negative 1 times 3. Raised to the power of t equals 3. Now remember, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. I apply this right here. That means I'm simply going to have negative 1 power t times 3 power t, and this equals 3. So from here, I can make use of Euler's identity. e power i times pi plus 1 equals 0. I move this positive one over here. I have e power i times pi equals negative 1. That means negative 1 equals e power i times pi. And there's negative 1 here. I'm going to substitute this for negative 1. So this equation becomes instead of negative 1, I have e power i times pi raised to the power of t times 3 power t equals 3. So remember, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So by multiplying this out, I have e power i times pi t times 3 power t equals 3. So right now, I can make use of natural log. I have natural log of e power i times pi t times 3 power t equals natural log 3. So right now, if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. I apply the same identity right here. I'm going to have natural log of e power i times pi t plus natural log of 3 power t, and this equals natural log of 3. And don't forget that if you have natural log of a power b, this equals b times natural log of a. So, the i pi t here will come behind the natural log, and the t will come behind the natural log. So I'm going to have i pi t times ln e plus t times ln 3 equals ln 3. And from here, ln cancel e, that is ln of e is 1, so we have i pi t plus t ln 3 equals ln 3. t and t here are common. I factor out the t. This device t, I have i pi, plus this device t, I have ln3, and this equals ln3. So, I divide this by i pi, plus ln3, I divide this by i pi, plus ln3. So, what happened here is this, this cancels this. And our answer in this method is t equals ln3 divided by i pi plus ln3. So we have this correct. And also, this is also very correct, depending on the method that you want to use. So that is how you can actually solve it. And that is how you can do it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you and see you again.